Everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Paul Nguma, founder of Perinology Lab. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with all of you a stock that is breaking out currently and why you should keep it on your watch list. And I'm also going to be answering some of you guys' questions for those of y'all who dropped your stocks of interest in the comment section of this morning's pre-market analysis video right after the intro. All right, y'all, right off the bat, we have the SPY here today. Again, for all of you who watched this morning's pre-market analysis video, I saw the way the market was trending pre-market and I gave y'all a very specific warning that the SPY could reach exactly 39.30 today. Um, and unfortunately, it did. And it kind of dragged down some of our plays this morning. They didn't perform as well as anticipated. All right, so, and as you can see now, it got to 39.30 and now it's down even lower. Should y'all be worried? Honestly, the trend is still bullish. I still think that 4,000 is a real possibility, but short term, we may see a small pullback over here to 39, to 38.80 before trapping. We could see a, a move down to 38.80 to trap short sellers before we continue back up to 4,000. That's what I meant to say. I will follow up this one uh, within the next few days. Now, the stock that all of you are looking at on the thumbnail, that stock is UAL. And unfortunately, think or swim would not pull up UAL. So we're gonna have to transition over to uh, to trading view, all right? And this is the UAL chart. I was trying to record this earlier and I was, and I literally just found out that think or swim is tripping right now. But the pattern that I see here on UAL is a flag, all right? And for all of y'all who have been uh, subscribing to the channel, we have seen this before, we have done this before. This one is so clean, it's squeaky clean, all right? And the beautiful thing about this thing is that uh, right before it, it actually showed a rising three method right on the chart, all right? A rising three method, usually bullish, and then it spiked up today. And it's not just the stock that spiked, like all of the airlines companies also spiked. BA looked good. Um, what else? Oil, oil also looked good. What's the dick for that one? Um, Oxy, Oxy is oil. Yeah, oil also spiked as well. And honestly, I'm not bearish on oil either. All right, so keep that one on your watches. Cruise lines. I think we can go back on think or swim now. Cruise lines RCL also spiked, right? And this is another one that you should keep on your watch. This again, this I'm not bearish on this one. It had a tremendous day today and anticipates the airline industry to push up further throughout the next two to three weeks, all right? So these are the stocks to watch, travel stocks, all right? Now the next, now let's talk about you guys' stocks of interest, all right? Let's talk about that one. The very first one that we're going to address, that stock is CCIV, all right? And CCIV, I told y'all this weekend to, to expect to move up to exactly $55. Exactly $55. And the stock spiked to exactly 55 bucks. All right. So, um, y'all, I hope, I hope some of y'all took some money off the table, right? Some, because the contracts, the contracts, I believe, went up by a pretty significant amount. Just to like, again, minimize your risks, pay yourself. It's looking kind of overextended. Could it go higher? Yes. And if it does, great. But if it doesn't, you don't want to be that person that got too greedy and then watch this thing gap down all the way down to like 47 bucks and then form the bearish Harami before falling over. All right. You don't want to be that person. So hopefully some of y'all were able to like catch that move, take some money off the table to minimize your risk as this thing potentially continues to climb. All right. Um, the other stock that I wanted to address in this video, again, as I mentioned, the, the market was kind of ruthless. I talked about Roku this morning as one of the um, one of the top two stocks to watch. It performed well. It actually hit the price target for the day. All right, it hit the price target for the day, which was 485, and then they gave everybody three chances to pretty much get out before forming a head and shoulders on the chart and then breaking through that neckline, right? So here's the first chance to get out, and then the next chance to get out, and then this final third right here with the bearish hammer followed by the 
the crack of that neckline and then you just started being bearish that that was your cue to take whatever money you could whatever money that was left if you didn't take money here or here or to break even and get back in at the low because right i told y'all i gave you a warning with this one it is overextended i did like it and i gave a very conservative price target for this one because of the market because of the way the market was looking and the same thing applies for ebay all right ebay pulled something even nastier which was kind of mean and that one looks also kind of iffy for the short term but long term i'm still bullish on ebay for roku be very very careful all right um the next one that we're going to address in this video that stock is tcom and for all of y'all who have been subscribing to the channel i made a specific video about tcom and showing y'all this flag and the price target on there was 40 bucks all right so for anybody who is still holding this, this one is a long for me, all right? I'm not getting rid of this until we get in here, all right? I'm not getting rid of my TCOM until it gets in here. Again, the same thing applies for uh, BNGO. I'm still very bullish on both of them. The patterns are very, very clean and I'm patient and it's moving steadily in the direction that I like. All right, so keep this one on your watch list as well. And hopefully that answers your questions to the person who asked about a follow-up on TCOM. There you go, all right? My thoughts, the drawings are still there. My thoughts and opinions are not changing, all right? Now, next stock that we're going to be addressing in this video, that stock is QS. And QS um, today, today had a small pullback I'm not too worried about it. Um, it did have earnings though. Um, it did have earnings. If you look at it, it actually formed a very nice reverse in shoulders and um, it's currently up right now. I don't know what their numbers are, but the reaction is phenomenal. All right, the reaction is what we really care about. The reaction was not negative. It didn't bring the stock all the way down to 47 bucks. It still looks good in my eyes. The daily chart, it still looks great. Um, the price target on there is still the same. It's going to open up like right over here. It's probably going to go higher tomorrow to like 54 and maybe even $55 before continuing up to the price target, which is right over here. All right, we might get there sooner. So keep that one on your watch list as well. Again, for all of you who asked for an updates on QS, there you go. Um, the next one that we'll be addressing in this video, that stock is DraftKing. And DraftKing, um, DraftKing had some momentum, I think two weeks ago, right? Right over here, it had some momentum for $55. And then it got super exhausted at around 64, 65. And there was a very bearish engulfing candle. And right now, short sellers are, are not letting this one go. Where I personally would want to scoop this up, I would love to scoop this up right at $56 or $54, either one. Just anywhere in here would be an immediate buy for me, all right? So be very patient um, with this one, especially for those of y'all who are buying dips over here, all right? Again, as of right now, I have no clue where this stock is going to go. I just want it to drop over here, and I'm very, very, very patient especially when i'm trying to dip by something and if you don't know where something is going don't take a trade you don't have to force this situation right um that's my very honest opinion for drafting for the person who asked about it now the last stock that i want to conclude this video with that stock is crsr all right and for crsr we addressed this one in the past and it's currently pulling back it had earnings the reaction to earnings was actually terrible as y'all can see it went from 45 dollars all the way down to 42 and a half and it's been down ever since uh, personally i wouldn't be surprised to see the stock go all the way down to like 37 again before getting involved in this boring sideways trading in this region all right I'm not too excited about it. I'm not trying to dip by this thing. Um, it's just not looking too good right now. And it might get boring for the next few weeks, okay? And yeah, that's, that's really all I gotta say about that one. Um, I'm, not too, I'm not too excited about it and I'm not buying it. That's my very honest opinion for this stock. 
All right, so that is the end of the video. Again, do not forget to destroy the like button for the YouTube algorithm. As always, it helps the channel grow faster and it allows more people to get this knowledge as well. Also, if you are new to the channel, definitely click on subscribe and click on the notification bell along with all notifications. That way you don't miss out on these post-market analysis videos, which are released every single day in the afternoon. And the pre-market analysis videos, which are released from Monday to Friday at exactly 8.15 a.m. Central Time, 15 minutes before the market opens. If you're not following us on social media, you can find me at Paul and Guma in the Petronology Lab on Instagram and on Twitter. Also, if all of this is new to you and you are interested in getting started trading in the market, I left some step-by-step -step directions in the description of the video below, step one through step three. It only takes about 15 minutes or less for you to get signed up with all the tools you need to start trading immediately. You can also get two free stocks after signing up with Weibo. This is my very first link in the description below. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul Nguma with Patternology Lab, where we trade patterns and patterns only. And I will see all of you tomorrow morning at exactly 8.15 a.m. Central Time, 15 minutes before the market opens. Enjoy the outro.